Hello, today in this ASMR video, I'm going to be reading a transcript of one of Jacksepticeye's reading your comments videos. I'm going to be omitting some occasional swearing and also be attempting to read this in an Irish accent. I know that it's not a good Irish accent and I know that my voice is not like Jack's, but I'm going to try anyway. So. Here we go. If you're interested, the video that I'm going to be reading the transcript of is his reading your comments video number 73. So let's begin. I'm going to be reading the comment first and then Jack's reaction afterwards. And now, YouTube comments with Jack said to Guy. I have an obsession with Jack's arms. I have an obsession with Jack's food. I want to know what he has in his press. I want to go eat. I'm always hungry. Your voice are loud, lol. You're new here, aren't you? Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to the cacophony of loudness and the bombardment against your eardrums. That is my voice. Do you plan on keeping the hair once it grows out? But doesn't that kind of contradict itself? If the hair grows out, doesn't that mean it's not coloured anymore? I don't know, if, if it grows out and it looks weird, I'll cut it or I'll get it dyed again, depending on whether it looks good or not. I don't know. Right now, I don't know. Right now, I'm just happy with it being green the way it is. It's already starting to fade though, but it looks good still. You should just dye your bread green as well. That'd be amazing. I like my bread the way it is. I'm not going dyeing my bread. It's a joke. I know you meant be it. Do you think about vegetarians? Are you one? Vegetarians are fine. They can do what they want. You can eat and not eat absolutely anything you want. It's up to you. It's your your own your own person. Do whatever you like. I'm not a vegetarian myself. I love meat, especially chicken. I don't think I could live without chicken. How did you feel when Mark rejected you at Pax Prime 2K15? I was more upset by the fact that Wade comforted me. You just copy everyone, like Markiplier. You're stupid and your videos suck. I find all this stuff very amusing. When people say you're copying one another, I mean, I get why they say it. They're very much in love with different YouTubers and they have their own, like... They, they're fans of different things. It's the same with, like, consoles or whatever. And you think that other people are copying everything, and that's fine. It's always funny to see, like, people say that friends are copying each other. Like, if we really copied each other, you would... We likely wouldn't tolerate the other person, and you wouldn't hang out with them. You wouldn't be friends with them in real life, which me and Mark are. It was the same when people say that I copied Felix. Like, I'm friends with him. We don't copy... We talk about this stuff all the time and how silly it is. In fact, he was worried about me starting, or he was worried about starting his own reading the comments videos because he thought other people was going to say he copied me, even though I was the one saying, do it, do it, do it. Well, I was there at Pax Prime saying, saying, telling him to do the series, and I'm glad he did. I like your hair. Thank you. I like your rabbit. Hi Jack, remember when you said never in a million years will you get to a million subscribers? Watch your video about the Showtown competition winner. It really made me so emotional. I'm still surprised that the channel ever got a million subscribers. I'm surprised that it's approaching 7 million. That's crazy. What's going on? I, like, I still don't know why or how it happened or anything. I'm incredibly grateful that it happened and I'm, I'm really excited about what the future holds and like... I'm only being doing... It's coming up like two and a half years that I've been doing YouTube. And a lot has changed in that amount of time. So the fact that everything happened so fast didn't give me any time to settle or get used to it. So I'm still surprised that it happened. But, and I, uh, I hate going back and watching that video. It's so cringy and embarrassing. I'm like, I want a PewDiePie shout out or whatever. Ugh, so awkward. Why? Why was I so awkward back then? It seems so awkward, but I can't stop staring into your eyes. Stare all you want. 
lights down to the endless ocean blue, even though the white balance on the camera makes them look a lot lighter than they are. They're a lot darker looking in real life, it's just that I've got a lot of lights on and I'm not good at white balancing my camera. Do you get strep or sore throat a lot? I got threatened about five times by my doc that I'd have to get my tonsils taken out. I think it's because I talk too loud and I talk too much. People ask me this stuff all the time. Do you have a sore throat? Do you get strep throat? When did you have your tonsils removed? I'm, I still have my own tonsils. I still have my tonsils from when I was born, from when I grew them as a little baby. And I never had any problems with them, thank God. Um, hopefully I never do and I never have to get them removed because I don't, I don't like the idea of hospitals or surgeries or anything like that. But I don't get sore throat a lot. The only times I'll ever really get a sore throat is when I have like the flu or a head cold. And then it's like bacteria building up, but I never get it from shouting. And I never, I don't think I've ever gotten strep throat. Jack, thank you so much for making these vids. I've been depressed lately and every day I watch your vids and it makes me so much better. That's so sweet, thank you. You don't, you don't need to thank me for making videos though, nobody does. I like making my videos, I'd still be here making them anyway, um, I'm just really grateful that you guys are here watching them with me, and joining in with me, and playing the games along with me, or whatever. It's really endearing, but again, you don't need to thank me for them, I'm just happy I can help people. If you are feeling sad and you're feeling lonely and my voice in the background yelling stuff actually makes you feel better or makes you smile when you when nothing else could, then again, I will consider what I do a success and that makes me so happy. Everybody can get caught up in subscriber numbers and view numbers and everything and I've been kind of freaking out about them myself a bit since school started back for people like subscriber, daily subscriber numbers haven't dropped considerably and I was like, oh god, do people not like what I'm doing anymore? Is it because a certain series have stopped and people went like those and I'm not doing certain things? Am I changing too much? And I freaked out a bunch of bunch about a bunch of stuff. But this is kind of really hammers it home. This type of stuff, people saying that you help them through hard times. I'm like, yeah, th this is what's important. Not the numbers, not any of that stuff. I mean, it is important that if you guys like what I do, if I can help you still though. I'm, I, it, it makes it so worth it. It seems people's faces when you meet them on the street, that, that kind of thing. That's important and that's what I need to keep remembering. So thank you guys for being here and watching my nonsense every day. It really makes me feel loved and supported, so it's awesome. Thank you guys so much. The thought of Jack quitting YouTube makes me sad. Then fear not, because I'm not going anywhere. You can't, you can't get rid of me that easily. I'm going to be making videos for a lot longer, and I ain't going to stop. It's too much fun. Don't you already have enough energy to never need sleep? I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't have energy. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wish, I wish I didn't have to sleep. Sleep sucks. I mean, it's great when you wake up in the morning and you're all cosy and warm in your blanket. That's fine. I like that. But the act of sleeping sucks. It takes up so much time. Do you realise how many videos I could get done if I didn't need to sleep? I'd get so much work done. It interrupts my flow. You better be a boy. What if I'm not? I can be whatever I want to do. You can't control me. I can. People can be whatever they want. If I'm a boy, so be it. If I'm not, so be it. I'm half and half, so be it. We can all be whatever we want to be. And that does it for this reading or comments video. That was a good one, wasn't it? Oh, I like that one. There was a lot of energy, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of sass, a lot of getting it in, getting it going. I love it. Any of you out there who need a lot of energy right now, just punch the day in the face. Go out there and show the world who's blocked. Who's boss? I need to get rid of some of this energy. You'd swear I did something important today. All I did was record videos. 
Also, you can't stop. This is why master. I ain't going to stop. I'm going to go outside like this. I'm going to go out to the shop. I'm going to get some food, some Burger King or Mickey or whatever. And just wear this hat and everyone will be like, dude, you're so cool. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss. And high fives all around. Thank you guys and I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Oh yeah, I'm feeling really pumped. I should go like record like seven more videos right now. I feel like I can just punch a camel. There's no camels around, I'm not gonna actually do that. I'll go punch a fish. Second extra bonus clip. We're gonna do something cool. I wanna throw this hat onto that stand over there. Are you guys ready? Watch. Wait for it. I did it! Oh my goodness, I did it! That was amazing. I'm so glad I recorded that.